Hello, my name is Jeanette and I am the designer behind Jeanette Knits and in this video I'm going to tell you all about an upcoming adventure um, that Jeanette Knits is organizing in collaboration with three other companies namely Do You Knit Knitting Shop, uh, Spin Cycle Yarns and Moondrake uh, Yarn Dyers and that adventure is a mystery knit along. You might already know what a mystery knit along is but I'll tell you anyway. It's a knit along, which means you're knitting along with many other people, but you're knitting a thing that is a mystery, which means you don't know what it will look like. Um, you might know what it is, um, such as a sweater, a shawl or a sock, but you don't know what the end product will look like. And it is revealed to you in sections called clues, and these clues are provided to you through a Ravelry pattern update. So you can uh, get an email when a next clue comes out, download it, and you have the next step-by-step -step instruction on how to make a part of this project. And then finally, uh, after you've received all the clues, you get the full pattern and you can see what the end result looks like. But hopefully, as you uh, progress through the clues, you can really enjoy the mystery and intrigue uh, on, on seeing how your project is turning out. So in this announcement, I'm going to explain to you what it is that our mystery knit along will be. Um, and the clue is in the title. Uh, we're calling it mystery yoke along and it will be a top down sweater uh, that is um, a round yoke sweater, such as the one I'm wearing, but it will be a deep running stranded color work yoke. The pattern will come in nine sizes and uh, it's designed to be worn with um, uh, 5 to 15 centimeter and 2 to 6 inch positive ease and the finished chest circumference goes from 87 centimeters to 165.5 centimeters that is 34 and 3 quarters uh, to 66 and 1 quarter inches the pattern on it is latvian inspired and it's a rather geometric as opposed to these uh, loose uh, organic shapes that you can see on this one so it's very symmetrical i've uh, made a very intricate design. To fully show the pattern in all its glory, uh, we recommend you choose high contrast between the main and the contrast colors and it's especially fun if your contrast color is color changing yarn such as the one we've used in the sample uh, which is a spin cycle dyed in the wool. The Do You Knit exclusive colorway called Across the Universe. It's a very very uh, dark, saturated, highly saturated colorway. And we've paired that with a neutral uh, light background color from Moondrake uh, in colorway uh, Rose Quartz. It's quite important to pick colors that are highly contrasting. And even if you pick the color changing ones, you should make sure that all the sections, uh, all colors maintain the same level of contrast or similar level of contrast. Otherwise you might end up with a yoke where some of the sections appear erased. And that's not what you want in this, uh, this project. More specifically, the gauge is 28 stitches and 34 rows in the 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches square and you can measure the gauge by working any fair isle or color work stranded color work pattern in the round and measure it after blocking one advice that if you use the same original yarn combination that we have or you work with any hand dyed yarn and you're using colors that are highly saturated uh, that you do steam blocking instead of a wet blocking because that could cause some bleeding and spoil your sweater uh, and we don't want that to happen to you so yeah uh, steam blocking is highly recommended if you use the original yarn combination that we've used in our sample. For the details on how much of each color you will need, um, you can head down to the description of this video and follow a link to the announcement, which contains all the, all the yarn information, the yardage and the notions and materials. The most exciting part about this knit along though is the community. 
and we have created a dedicated Slack channel uh, that you can join anytime um, and follow the registration link down below in the description. Uh, there are already over 40 members there uh, from our newsletter subscribers who found out about this uh, knit along a, a little bit earlier and people are already discussing their yarn choices uh, there so you can join and join the fun and get get ready to get started uh, we also have a dedicated Ravelry forum if you are um, if you're new to slack or if you prefer Ravelry uh, we hope that some activity will happen on the Ravelry forum as well and we have a special hashtag that's hashtag do you yoke uh, that you can use along with any photos you share on social media and we can't wait to see. So the first clue will be launching on the 3rd of January. That's just three days after New Year's and uh, we'll have until the 3rd of January to really um, think about what colors you might use. And you'll have one week to finish the clue, uh, first clue. Uh, the second clue will be launching on the 9th of January. The third clue will come on the 17th of January. And then the final clue will be a little bit later um, uh, on the 7th of February. So I guess um, that's the, the clues are not uh, coming out every week because the sections that will revealing be different sizes. As you can imagine, this is a sweater. Uh, so we'll be revealing a little bit of the yoke and then a little bit more of the yoke and then you'll see what happens uh, uh, happens um, after that. I don't want to I don't want to reveal too much already at the start. A little bit about the rules. We'd really like to try and keep the mystery going so we'd like to try and avoid spoilers. That's especially important if you are uh, sharing your progress photos on social media. Uh, if possible, uh, we have provided a link to where you can download some spoiler, spoiler alert <laughs> post cover photos. So if you uh, post on Instagram, you could use that as your first photo and, and, and that prevents people who don't want to see it revealed yet because they might be wor working on it themselves. Um, to to know that they shouldn't swipe past or scroll pa and they can scroll past that. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can either use the images that we've provided or you could just take a photo of your yarn before you start the project and always be mindful of others who uh, really who might not be knitting as fast as you uh, but still want to keep the intrigue. If you have any questions, uh, join the Slack channel. Myself or someone else there will be able to uh, give you an answer. Uh, you can always email us at zanette at zanettenits.com as well. Um, don't hesitate if you have any questions about anything <laughs> to do with our patterns. The feedback from test knitters has so far been overwhelmingly positive, of which I'm really, really grateful and uh, even more excited to be able to share it with the wider knitting community and see the mystery unravel. We will be launching a introductory discount for this uh, yoke along uh, for this pattern. And if you are a newsletter subscriber, you will get a special discount. Uh, so if you aren't one yet, go ahead and subscribe at zanetknits.com. There should be a box uh, where you can enter your email address and watch this space. Uh, it's a very imminent. We can't wait to have you on board on this uh, first ever Zanet Knits Mystery Yoke Along Adventure. I hope to see you there. Bye.